Welcome back, PWH. And, uh, I ain't got no more parts to my trampoline frame thing there, so I started working on the engine stand. Until I get some more parts, this is going to be the next project on the channel. And, uh, so far, things have been working out alright. It's a good thing I had this cam that came with my engine at 638 that's a little pooched. Look at that lobe right there if you guys are wondering because I know some guys are saying right now that's a billet roller, billet, billet solid roller cam. Why did you cut it? Why did you just chop it off? Well, I needed that piece. And I'm not done chopping this cam up. Maybe I'll make a shifter handle out of one of these these resections here, maybe, eh? From here to here. That'd make a pretty cool shifter handle. Uh, uh, yeah, just slam and jam gears. It's like you're in a Kenworth. Alright, okay. But anyway. Yeah, cut this end off of here. Stuffed it in there, just happened to fit just about perfect. Use a couple little pieces of welding wire and flatten them out so that it centered it nicely for me. And then a little Chinese mag again. Look, two settings, min, max, on and off. That's it. That's all you get. But look at that. I mean, she ain't pretty. I ain't perfect. I didn't clean nothing up. There's no rust cleaned up. It's flux. She's flux, baby. Anyway. Why I did that. So I can go like this, take this whole plate and basically mount it to the engine and then take the engine, swing it right over to the engine stand, slide this back into the stand and bolt that back on like such. And there's the first part of my drive. Chain and sprocket. Like so. Sorry guys, I'm not even paying attention to what you guys are looking at, just staring at the grass there, eh? Okay, anyway, you guys know what's going on here. Stuff this into here. Alright. Yep. Now, I've got this little collar piece here. Where did I put it? Oh, no, I didn't even pick it up yet. She was still hot. Okay. Still warm? Nope, she's good. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna weld that sucker on right there. Because that part is steel. And, I don't wish me luck. I'll try. No promises, but. I'm gonna try to weld this to the cast on this side, right? And then this gear will get welded onto there, like that, or close enough anyway. And then that'll fit back into this chain, right here, and then the big sprocket here. And then this one here, I'm going to make a plate, or a piece of pipe, that this one's going to float on. It's not going to be tied in to this gear. This gear is going to free float because I'm going to mount the 79 Chevy steering wheel to it. And then I'll have the steering wheel right dead center so that when you crank it, it looks like you're cranking right on the main shaft going to the plate. But really, you're going through a one. Uh, a two to one reduction here, two to one reduction here, so in the end you should be four to one and you should be able to crank over a fully dressed engine like butter. 
At least that's the theory. Anyway, let me just get on to the next step here. I'll weld up some shit here. Hopefully it'll work. I'll show you guys the next process. See you at the next step. Okay, phase two here. Uh, I got my uh, double sprockets put together. And I know it's cast. But a little bit of heat. Some stubbornness. It will stick. I mean, they're not pretty, but oh my goodness. She ain't gonna fall apart. Uh, you know, no jokes about that. I gotta finish up that little weld in there. Yeah, okay, did miss a spot. But that's fine. Anyway, that's the second stage. And I'll show you guys here uh, how far I gotta go after this. So, yeah, hold a second. Hold the phone. Okay, so, got a few parts done. Okay. Well, did you have an old cam in there? Which happened to be an old solid roller from my original, my mother, my uh, 638 engine, a cam that was no good that I got with it. And I cut it off and I welded it right in the end of the old pinch here so I can make it removable. Uh, come on, hands. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to tighten those up. It's just to show you guys the system so far. In case maybe some of you want to do this to yours. I mean, if you're going to use a camshaft end like I did, they are cast and it's going to be a bugger. So be warned, lots of heat, lots of luck. But anyway, slam the set on like that. Chicago. Okay, Chicago. Okay. Now, here's my other part, welded together, cast iron, of course, that's going to fit right in there, look at that, alright, Okay, so yeah, that'll fit in there like that. My engine stand is just not, not the best. She's a homemader, if you couldn't tell. Mixed up the sprockets. That would suck. That would really suck. But if I didn't have bad luck, wouldn't have any, would I? Anybody else have that kind of luck? Hey. Maybe that's just my problem. I just got a bunch of slag on there. Hold on, I'll clean this up and try this again here. I just got slag on the sprocket. All right. So, got her somewhat set up here. I just got to weld a pipe to the back of that so I can fit it through this lower sprocket. Come on, focus, you bugger. No? Okay, screw you two then, camera phone whatever anyway that's gonna center up right there smarten up anyway I'll have a bearing in there and then I'm gonna attach this outer sprocket here 
which will be the crank sprocket to my steering wheel and put a floating bearing in there it'll fit in the middle right in there and uh, yeah I'll have a four to one reduction work pretty slick hard to show you guys but she's already uh, making quite a difference I mean I could mount the steering wheel down there on the pulley with a pipe coming through the back here attached welded from here to here so that this can free spin or on a bearing or whatever and then here's the double sprocket Hold it together to the other timing set. And yeah. If you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know. If you like, uh, uh, let's see. Like do it yourself projects. It's kind of stuff I do. Um, I need a pipe. Gotta do a few more things to this, but yeah, this is just about the finished product. Okay, anyway, I'm bagged. I think that's about enough for me for the day. I'm going to be a little sore, but whatever. It's expected. But if you like it, smash the like. Um, drop a comment if you have any ideas. So maybe I should do it differently or just go with it. Because so far it seems to be working all right. I just got to do a couple more little tweaks. Well, the pipe going through to the bottom sprockets there, across from there to there, and then the same up top here. I'm going to mount one probably here. I'll take a piece of pipe and make it so it about bolts onto there, and then this one can slide over top. And then you do your engine cranking, four to one reduction. But yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, because I do all kinds of stupid shit like this. Building stuff from nothing, and uh, yeah, making my brain work. But yeah, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe.